Who's the hurt? Thing coming? No, nothing. No sign of a hurt. No walker. What the hell is going on? It's a trap. Oh no, they're it was turning. Must have held the most of us are out here, there's hardly anybody. Back at Alexandria. Oh my gosh. And they're turning real quick nowadays. As soon as they die. Here. Check Morgan Street. Come with me. Oh, crap. Marosita. This place. It isn't what she said it was. She lied. Gamma and Beta would never turn on Alpha. These are not your people. But she lied. She. Is your alpha. You're dead. He's gonna kill her. Step towards me. He's gonna kill her. That's gonna be an executive beta decision. All she wants is me in pain. You're lying for her. Step. Me. Beta never really liked her anyway. I am not afraid of you. Okay, well, you're dead. <laughs> yes, you are. Laura. Get help. Well, Laura's dead. You made it so far, too. Oh, he didn't even... Oh, Lord, just let him go! Help! In here! I don't think she's dead, though. Or maybe she is dead. Oh, Judith! Oh my gosh, this is like... Horror movie. That wallpaper, that's, that's Michonne's house. You know, it's like Michael Myers right now, going from house to house, just slaughtering people. Where's RJ? I, oh, where's RJ? No. No. Oh my gosh, Rosita. Rosita, no. This is not it. Rosita, no. Rosita, no. Your 
Let's just try again. Oh, Beta, ow. No, I wasn't. I, I didn't. I didn't betray him. I'm telling the truth. I honestly thought Gabriel was gonna shoot her. It gave me like that kind of vibe. Alpha, you still out there bleeding out? Daryl really, really <clears throat> trashed this girl. It's about time she got this kind of treatment. You see beyond the darkness? Under the light? Oh, you're crying? Thank you. Thank you for making me strong. I made me. I made you. I made my lady. You lost her. <laughs> That's a sore spot, darling. She will get up and find she you. She didn't love her. Keep your mouth shut. What did you say? She not she would have must up the strength now. Should have left Lydia is off limits. She's off limits. What did you say, boy? I can't hear you. You don't talk about this. That could get you killed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's gonna come and find you, Daryl, and finish you off. I'm gonna just sliver onto you. There's Lydia, her old Extra pep in her stuff. Your way is not the only way. You're all right. Yeah. the others. We got separated. Most of us got out. Most of you. Not everyone. Good. I'll be back as soon as the doctor at Hilltop clears me. Besides, I could still be out there. I want her safe and safe is with you. Okay. Cool. Go. Should have. Your father, could you have? Probably not. I'm no longer weak. I'm stronger than ever. Yep, Lydia is dead to her. A hold. A butch. Consume me. Screams. Will be strong to me. Is just 
a mess. So that was my reaction to the season 10, episode 10, episode entitled Stalker. It was a good episode. So we got to see um, Alexandria after um, spending the last episode um, with everyone stuck in a cave. So this episode had a slightly similar feel, feeling of like a horror movie kind of vibe. Um, Beta kind of went <laughs> on a killing spree, very Michael Myers-ish um, through Alexandria. And I thought that him having that tunnel and just that whole situation, how it played out was really um, interesting and in the way that he infiltrated um, Alexandria. And it just shows that they're very, they're not like every other enemy that our group has faced. They're very tactful and very, it's like very guerrilla style like if you were having a war back in the day and like in the, the woods and stuff like this is how you would kind of infiltrate they've been playing a lot of mind games and utilizing you know dante and other and now dante again even in death he has managed to um aid help aid alpha and, and beta in doing not so great things um <clears throat> I was very happy to see Rosita this episode and she's still dealing with the grief of losing Sadiq. Um, that is obviously going to play on her for a while because she doesn't want to be a single mom. Her losing Abraham and then losing Spencer and losing Sadiq. Uh, that she's, she's trying to be as strong as she can. Gabriel has his own vendetta or agenda, I should say. He wants to prove that he is is the man and can can handle certain things he ended up he feels guilty for Sadiq's death because he didn't vet out Dante enough or even things so, so he took it upon his hands to get blood on his hands and kill Dante himself to, he's gotten to a point where he doesn't want to just hang around and do the right thing he wants to take action and matters into his own hands him and Rosita kind of clashed but I think they made they made they, they had a, a mutual understanding that she has to be safe for Coco and as much as she wants to avenge Sadiq and she really hates the whispers she's able to give Mary a chance um aka Gamma and this was a good episode for Gamma uh Gamma was able to show that she is more than just a whisperer and she was able to gain their trust I do think she's genuine I don't see them doing going through all of that for her to then betray them I don't see it I think with her seeing Lydia and everything it really did change her perspective on how Alpha, how Alpha is and who Alpha is. And we didn't see any League in this episode. We definitely didn't see any Carol, which is great. <laughs> um, I think we need a break from Carol after what happened last, the previous episode. But yeah, it was a very, from, for someone who loves horror movies, this episode gave me all the good vibes that I liked. So, um... Yeah, two good episodes so far for the season. I'm glad that we got to see Rosita and she kicked ass as usual. She was able to show that she can hold down the fort. Uh, she was able to show that she could protect Alexandria and take on Beta. And Daryl took Beta on. And so that was a really cool, dope scene to see her defending and fighting. It makes her one of the better characters. And I've been a day one Rosita fan from the day she came off of that truck with Abraham and Eugene and pigtails and hot pants. She was my favorite character. She didn't have to do anything else. <laughs> so to see her grow, and I love Christian Serratos, Christian Serratos I should say, and seeing her grow from being, you know, just the pretty girl who was in the background to being a very valuable member of our group and, and, and warrior, it's, it just makes me feel really good to see that. And her having Coco really grounds her even more and, and it gives her something to fight for even more and even be in her to be more passionate. So I'm excited to see. I need her to survive the season. I need her to keep living on. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. So that was my reaction to uh, season 10, episode 10, Stalker.